Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing the top 10 best date night fragrances for women. These are the fragrances that I love to wear for more romantic occasions. So they're a little bit sultry, sexy, seductive, with a hint of mystery. Now, just because it is date night doesn't mean your fragrance has to be incredibly bold and overpowering. So I chose a nice variety of fragrances here to match your varying date night moods. And I wanna begin with what has become one of my favorites, and it is the fragrance that I wore most recently on a date night, and it is the House of Siage Passion de L'Amour. Don't be fooled by this colorful, vibrant, playful bottle because this fragrance is seriously sexy. It also happens to be one of my most long-wearing fragrances. I sprayed this in the room yesterday, and when I walked in today, it still smells like this fragrance, and it just lingers in such a perfect way. This fragrance was inspired by hot, tropical, exotic nights in the South Pacific. It has top notes of saffron and raspberry, a heart of caramel and amorous oil, and a base of oud and Leatrix Absolu. Like all House of Siage fragrances, this bottle stands out as a unique piece of art with the beautiful color and the shape, the hand-placed Swarovski crystals on top, but the scent itself is truly a statement maker. This is so beautiful. Right off the top, you get a little bit of bergamot oil, that raspberry, it's a little bit fun and flirty, and then the caramel is just delicious. And then the base of oud is so sensual and warm, and this could be worn on both men and women, but I think especially on a woman. This is such a powerful, sexy date night fragrance. This is a date night that is going to be hot and heavy, steamy, somebody that you've known for a long time and you share a lot of passion for. That is what this fragrance conveys. The second best date night fragrance for women is Coco Noir from Chanel. This is truly the most elegant, intimate fragrance. I think it would be perfect for a more formal date night, like a gala or a special night out. When I envision wearing this fragrance, I think of a beautiful ball gown, sparkly jewelry, just something incredibly exquisite and a real special occasion. Coco Noir is a luminous oriental with a burst of grapefruit off the top, a heart of jasmine and rose, and base notes of patchouli, tonka bean, and vanilla. And tonka bean is one of those very special notes that is scientifically proven to make your mouth water. So when you smell Coco Noir, your body has almost a primal reaction. It just sort of takes over. Now there are a lot of stories within Chanel lore about the inspiration behind Coco Noir, but as you can see, the bottle is the classic number five dressed in black. And Coco Chanel is famously quoted as saying that before her, no woman would dare dress in black. Before Chanel made it chic and modern, black was really only worn during times of mourning. So the bottle itself sort of represents this strong, passionate woman who's paving her own way. And the scent being so spicy and sensual sort of sets that same tone. Coco Noir is for the woman who knows exactly what she wants. The number three best date night fragrance for women is hands down the most long wearing out of this particular group, and it might be one of the most recognizable. That is the Baccarat Rouge 540 from Maison Francis Kurgian. This is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. I have an entire video dedicated to this fragrance where I basically just confess my love for it. And while I would not categorically consider this to be a date night fragrance and just sort of put it in that type of box, this is the type of fragrance that when you wear it, you feel more confident. And I think that is sort of perfect for any sort of date night, especially a first date, a date that you wanna make an incredible impression. It has notes of jasmine, saffron, cedarwood, ambergris, and vanilla sugar, which gives it that gourmand, almost cotton candy, delicious fragrance. I originally discovered this fragrance while I was at work. I smelled it on someone else and I chased after her to find out what fragrance she was wearing. And I basically immediately went to Neiman Marcus and purchased it. So people will chase you down when you have this on. I'm guilty of it, I've done it myself. And really, who doesn't wanna be chased when they're out on a date? 
The number four best date night fragrance for women is Black Orchid from Tom Ford. This fragrance is such a timeless classic. It is the first fragrance that Tom Ford ever created and it was for women. This fragrance does for women what a custom tailored suit does for men. It comes in an Art Deco inspired bottle with notes of black truffle, bergamot, black orchid, black plum, and patchouli. It's rich, dark, alluring, and spicy. Mm. There is something so warm and cozy about this fragrance. It just sort of wraps you up in an intimate hug without being too strong or overpowering. Plus it's seasonally appropriate. I think Black Orchid is perfect for date night during the fall, winter months. If you have not smelled this fragrance, you have to. It is well on its way to becoming a classic. The number five best date night fragrance for women is also one that is incredibly warm and sensual. It is Oud Satin Mood from Maison Francis Kurgian. And as you can see, I only have the little baby bottle to share with you, but this is a fragrance that I was recommended so many times whenever I did my video on the Baccarat Rouge 540. Everyone said, if you like this, you have to try Oud Satin Mood. It is so sexy and sensual and unique. And truly, you all were right. It has notes of violet, Damascus, and Bulgarian rose, oud from Laos, amber, and vanilla. I can't think of a single fragrance more aptly named than oud satin mood. It truly does give you an oud satin mood. Maybe velvet, <laughs> but something very luxurious. It's incredibly opulent and formal. That oud gives it a real deep richness, but it still has some brightness off the top and the vanilla gives it a little bit of sweetness. If you love oud, you will absolutely go crazy for this fragrance. I almost feel like an imposter when I wear it because I don't think it suits my everyday personality. It's just so formal and luxurious, but this is the type of fragrance that I will save for special occasions, special date nights. I have to be in the right mood, in the right setting to wear this fragrance, but it is truly stunning. I have two more fragrances to mention that fall into the deeper, moodier side of date night. So coming in at number six is Good Girl Gone Bad from Killian. This is a fragrance that anytime I get into conversations with fragrance connoisseurs, fragrance lovers, collectors, it always comes up in conversation as being one of the best fragrances for women and being one of the best fragrances hands down. But this to me is one of those really unique fragrances that make it perfect for date night. It's a narcotic fragrance with orange blossom, tuberose, osmanthus, and apricot. It is unlike anything else you will ever smell. As you can see, I only have samples of the fragrance for now, but I didn't want to exempt it from the list just because I haven't taken the plunge and purchased it just yet. I do plan on adding this fragrance to my collection sometime very soon. It's just a matter of when. Even the bottle is something so exquisite that I absolutely love and want to collect. I wore this fragrance to one of my great friend's weddings recently and I loved the way this fragrance made me feel. It is truly a standout in a crowd type of fragrance. The apricot is unexpected. The tube rose gives it a real smooth creaminess. It is truly a beautiful fragrance. Coming in at number seven for best date night fragrance for women is Clive Christian X Feminine. It's the only other fragrance bottle that I don't have to show you. And it's truly unfortunate because the bottle itself is gorgeous. In fact, everything from Clive Christian, all of the fragrances, all of the bottles, the stories, they are so masterfully crafted. It's really one of my favorite niche fragrance houses. The main notes of this fragrance are peach, bergamot, jasmine, and vanilla. The first time I ever smelled this fragrance, I remember it was incredibly familiar. It's very reminiscent of Gucci Rush. If you remember that fragrance, it came in the square red box of a bottle. And that really takes me back and is very nostalgic for me personally because I remember back in high school when I was, you know, one of the underclassmen, all of the cool girls, the cool seniors, wore Gucci Rush and I felt like, oh, that's what it's like to be one of the upperclassmen and be so cool and confident and have special fragrance. So I always idolized Gucci Rush as being this cool, amazing, sexy fragrance. But smelling it now as an adult, and of course, 
this is a different fragrance. It is much more mature, much more luxurious and refined. So this is sort of, I suppose, as if the cool girls in high school grew up and became powerful CEOs in the real world. I don't know. There's just something about this fragrance that is a little bit nostalgic, but overall, that memory aside, it is a sexy fragrance. I haven't made the purchase just yet. I am waiting to do so. I just couldn't justify it right now, but maybe going into the holidays, it'll be on my wish list. And especially in Miami, I think it's just very much a fall winter fragrance, which we don't really get fall winter here. It's an evening fragrance, so undeniably dark and moody and sexy but I love it. There is just something about it that I have to have. So if you live in a cooler climate, this would be perfect for you. The number eight best date night fragrance for women is Lost Cherry from Tom Ford. This is a fragrance that isn't quite as deep, moody, and heavy as some of the others on the list, but it still has some spiciness to it, and it's very sultry and addictive. Every time I smell this fragrance, it makes my mouth water. And it was inspired by a journey into the forbidden world. It has top notes of cherry and bitter almond, a heart of Turkish rose and jasmine, and base notes of Peru balsam and roasted tonka. On my skin, this fragrance dries down very vanilla. It's not overly sweet or gourmand, but a very deep, warm, sensual vanilla. It also happens to be one of the most long-wearing Tom Ford fragrances, in my opinion, and I absolutely love wearing this for a night out. The last two fragrances are a little bit lighter, so while they are still both incredibly sexy, they would also be appropriate for a date during the day. Coming in at number nine is Paris Finisse from Chanel. This is such a soft fragrance. It would be ideal for a first date, anything outdoors. It has notes of neroli, vanilla, and tonka bean. It is fresh, but incredibly creamy. Since it's an eau de toilette concentration, it's going to be more of a personal fragrance. So people aren't going to smell you the moment you step foot in the room. You don't have this giant fragrance bubble lingering around you. It's going to be more intimate, more personal. So when somebody is very close to you, they'll be able to appreciate the fragrance. It is incredibly soft, incredibly feminine, so it's perfect for a date. Last but certainly not least, the number 10 best date night fragrance for women is Cherry Garden from House of Siage. I debated whether or not to include this on the list, but ultimately I decided since this is my personal list of top 10, I had to because I love wearing this fragrance out for a date. It is so whimsical and so feminine and playful and flirty. You truly feel like you are just walking in a garden in your own personal fairy tale whenever you wear this fragrance. I can envision the outfit. There's tulle and sparkles and sequins, something ultra feminine. It has notes of Sicilian bergamot oil, sandalwood, and white musk. Something about this fragrance reminds me of a date during sunset. It is incredibly luxurious. It is just such a heavenly feminine fragrance. I think this would be so perfect for an evening out with somebody that you love. Mm. It's delicious. And that completes today's date night fragrance video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you saw something that intrigues you. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments or your questions down below. I love hearing from you guys. So be sure to share your favorite date night fragrance down in the comment section so we can keep the conversation going there. As always, I will be linking all of these fragrances as well as everything that I use today on my face down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.